Okay. What's up? Jalen, so how has your transition been into, you know, just working yourself back into the lineup? You were injured for a while. You finally were able to get some playing time last season. What does that look like? Um, you know, I really hit this uh, offseason really hard. I was able to – it was great to be able to um, to have an offseason where you weren't rehabbing, you were just playing. So that's been pretty good. Um, I feel like I feel like this offseason was a success, just being able to go up against these guys each day, um, you know, playing high-intensity basketball. It's really getting me – really got me better this offseason. Armando just gave you some credit. He said that you're going to be one of those guys for people to look out for. What do you feel like – I mean, we can go date back since you came back from your injury. So now, have you improved in drastically or that the coaches have said that they've seen improvements in you? Uh, yeah, definitely just like, you know, just a feel for the game. Um, you know, I feel like every day I get out there, I just get more knowledge and a uh, better feel for just how to play the game on offense and the defensive end. So, um, you know, just being a more consistent shooter, um, being a better post defender, being a better defender in general, a uh, better communicator. Just overall, uh, every aspect of the game, I feel like I just took steps in, in a positive direction. And you're 100% healthy, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, how has the chemistry of the team been? There are obviously a, not, a lot of new guys in transfer, freshmen. Um, Jalen was just speaking on how it was almost instant. Like, right when training camp started, everybody kind of came together. So how has that been, like, just getting to meet everybody, building that chemistry? It's been, it's been great. Um, I didn't really – I mean, I, I, I guess I, I realized it because, you know, just just being on those teams when you're, like, you're a kid, you got great chemistry in, like, uh, middle school, high school. You just feel like, yo, I really, like, enjoy being around these guys. And I feel like that's really rare for, for the college level because everybody has their own personal agenda. But this team clicks really well on and off the court. So I feel like our chemistry is great. We hold each other accountable. We get after it. And everything is all love at the end of the day. What is the uh, major thing that you had to catch up on having missed so much basketball play? I really say just physically and uh, just like the feeling of the pace of the game. Um, coming coming from rehab, being thrown into the season, already you're not already not physically there uh, as a freshman. Um, and then just things can feel a little bit fast paced for you. So I feel like um, just having having to, to play this this off season it really helped me um, in, in the experience level and physically. Everybody says really you've got the skill set. Some some people people question you know, how you tell them to, to get to the next level and to become a really outstanding college player. Is that, do you agree with that? Would, would I agree if I'm tough enough? 100% I would agree. I, would, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be sitting in this seat right here if I wasn't tough enough. So, yeah, that's, that's all I got to say. To that's that. what you think, man. Yeah. You have to show that in the court. Yeah, 100%. And you'll do it, right? Yeah, most definitely. Thank you. How have you continued to build your relationship with uh, Coach Davis? He's bragged on you a lot of times last season. Has he been, you know, instilling some new men mentality in you, new new mottos? How's that been? Hundred percent. Just um, just talking to him a little bit more off the off the court, and just really understanding um, where he's at and understand where each other are, um, you know, as far as the game and just un um, mentally. And uh, he's gonna, I know he's going to push me every day in practice, but he's a, he's a great encourager too. So, you know, everything comes from a place of love, and it just may, it, it encourages you to go harder every time you're on the court. Because, you know, he's, he's rooting for you, and he wants you he wants things to be a certain way. So, you know, you got to make, make sure things are a certain way. You know, you, know, you want to win just as much as you want to win too. And out of the new guys, I know I keep talking about the new guys, who is somebody who stood out to you and you're like, okay, yeah, he, he got that dog in him. Uh, Zayden High, Zayden High talks the most trash, more trash than anybody on the team. Uh, he's got he's got that Texas toughness in him. Um, you know, really fun guy. To, you, you love to play on his team. Uh, he probably don't like to play uh, against him just because he's going to talk so much trash. But uh, uh, everybody pretty much. Cormac, Cormac going to shoot your face off. Paxton going to shoot your face off. They, they're all great guys. Man. They're, they're, um, you, you really want them on your team versus them being on the other team. Yeah, and I know it's kind of hard to like say right now, but looking at the ups and downs of last year, the things that went well, the things that didn't, what can you say, you know, in this moment, as of right now, is the biggest difference between last year's team and this year's team? I, I feel like there's a there's a different um, there's a different chemistry level. Um, I feel like just the, the amount of time we t we spend a lot more time as a whole, um, just doing a lot of things on and off the court. So um, you, you definitely feel that when when you get on the court. Um, and, and then it's just every day, it's just like every day the, the intensity level is at an all-time high. Uh, 